sit back, strap in, and get ready for After Hours with TC Rastani. This is Abigail Harwich, executive producer, welcoming you to the show. And now, TC Rastani! Alrighty then, welcome to the After Hours of TC Rastani, the podcast, the first one of 2023. I am emanating from the palatial podcast penthouse, and I am joined, as always, by the executive producer of everything Rastani Productions, the one and the only Miss OMG herself, Abby Harwich. Whoop, whoop. Hi, how we doing? Fantastic. And how are you doing, Ab? I am tired. Now, why are you tired? Because I am busy. You have been very busy. I've been very busy, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that we haven't been able to like do some new stuff. I know so mu- so many people are like asking for more, like newer content and stuff. And we're we're getting to it. We're getting to it. I promise. We actually just had a big production meeting down here. Yes, we did. And you're going to be making a big announcement sometime, probably in March, about something really, really big. But yes. we can't let the cat out of the bag on Not that yet. one. No. But during that production meeting we had down here, you said we're going to do a lot more content. You're going to be yes. doing a lot of things. Now, I know you're going to be traveling a lot within the next month. Yes, I am. And we're not going to divulge where you're going to be traveling to. Maybe we'll have the fans guess where yeah, you're traveling to. Yeah, we can have them to. all guess. But you're leaving bright and early tomorrow morning on a flight to somewhere that I know of, but we're not going to say <laughs> where. Yes. But you're going to be taking pictures and uh, tweeting them out. and. Uh, yeah, I'll take you guys along for the ride with me as much as I can. Right. Maybe they can guess where you are. Yeah, you might be able to get it. It might drop some some uh, real easy hints. There you go. <laughs> now, well, I haven't seen you since the Christmas party, so yes. Happy New Year. Thank you. You too. I know you've been super busy and super traveling and whatnot. And yes, today- nothing's changed in the New no, Year so far. No, nothing has changed. <laughs> I've asked, uh, you know, uh, SOS'd you on, on text and whatnot. It, I I have uh, responded to a lot of those SOS's, uh, usually, but, the, you, but the ones without the SOS, it, it takes- a little <laughs> Usually it takes about three days to hear from you. And this, this, <laughs> these ones, you know, we're quicker. I will say that. And um, you were late for the production meeting today. I was. A little late, but you brought pizza, so every, did, everything yeah. is fine. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had a lot of fun talking about that. So we have a lot of things planned for 2023 with all the cast members of Rastani Productions, not yes. just uh, OMG Abby, Ricky Bittman. We have Aunt Petunia, some other things down the pike that we're going to be doing, stuff with South Boston So Jeff. much fun. A lot of fun. And you are a big focal point because you are the executive producer of all of this stuff. I know. It's, a, it's, it's big shoes to fill. I didn't realize. How how big of a job this would be? See, I told you when, I when we hired you in 2020. Can you believe it's almost three years ago? No, I really can't. Like I really cannot believe that. It's it. Sometimes it feels like it was longer, and sometimes it feels like it was yesterday. And I am noticing right now you have on the boots. I do. That our good friend Charles sent you. Yes. When did he send me those? Last year? Uh, or the a couple year years ago, at least. Yeah. I don't even remember how long. I think I've had them for at least, I think this is the second winter season I've had them because I've worn them two seasons in a row. I love them. I, I think they're steel toed and they're waterproof. They're just great. They fit wonderfully. Well, we'll have to send a picture to Charles and yeah. your boots out there because he, he's a big fan of yours. I love them. Well, there you go. Now, <clears throat> I'm very excited about the opportunities that we will have in 2023. Yes. But, uh, you know, fans out there want to know, you know, what do you think about what's going on in the world these days? Oh, God. I How mean, many hours do you have? <laughs> we are recording this. Some t- what, today's Martin Luther King Day. Yes, it is. It is Martin Luther King Day. What do you think about that new statue that they just uh, debuted? I have no idea what you're talking oh, about. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. They had a Martin Luther... Does this Luther- make me a bad person? No, it doesn't because <laughs> a lot of people around the world don't even get what the statue See, is. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually, before you finish, I'm going to say, I feel like when it comes to, I don't even know, like like big things like this, like that are in the news and, right. and everything. Like, I feel like I am so blind and like, what, what's the, what's the um, word that I'm looking for? Oblivious? Yes, 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 thank you. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm so oblivious to things like that. And honestly, I feel like it's made me a better person in the long run because it just made me like not care about things. Like you live your life. Right. Um, and just don't get caught up in all the mainstream like 
excuse my language, but like mainstream bullshit, you know? Like, right. I, I, I don't like getting sweep, swept away in those things. So no, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm very interested to know. Okay. To well, you know, more. they just uh, debuted a, it's, it's kind of like arms hugging each other. Mm. And it was supposedly from an old picture of Martin Luther King hugging his wife and whatnot. Oh. And uh, they, they, they debuted it in the Boston Common because I didn't know this until all the uh, news came out that he went to college here in Boston. I think I did know that actually. So if you're I in Bo- it's, it's, it's a worldwide thing because I have friends over in England and they're like, you know, they say, what the hell is that? And it's like, oh, I didn't design it. Oh, I thought you were going to say there was like some uproar about it or something. No, 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 okay. no, no, no one's That's against. what I meant, no what I meant no, in I'm terms just, of like, no, I don't get caught up in that kind no, no, of no, stuff. No, 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 no one's against or anything. It's just like, oh. what is it? It's just arms hugging each Where other. Where is it? In the Boston Commons? I have said? no idea. It's in the Boston Commons somewhere. Huh. So, no. I was literally just around there like two hours ago. And I know. Didn't what, even see it. And I know you were driving in. I'm, I'm looking yes. down on the security camera. Now, there's some controversy. On your Twitter, you were very sad that Jesse, your old Jeep. I still am sad. Now, what, what, what happened to Jesse? So, okay. So, on Chris, on Christmas morning, um, I went to my boyfriend's house to do gifts with his family. And then he usually comes over later in the day and ha- spends the rest of the whole day with like my whole like extended family. Right. So when I was leaving that morning to go to his house, um, there was a Santa hat like in the driveway when I was pulling out and I didn't know what it was. So me like being funny, jokingly called my parents and I was like, I think I ran over Santa Claus in the driveway. His hat's there because m- my parents eat that shit up and um they love that so my dad came outside to get the santa hat and he called me and he was like i don't know what's wrong with your car but the entire driveway is filled with oil Uh oh like everywhere so um he he works like not too far away from my house and he like repairs trucks and stuff so he had a bunch of stuff to like t- take care of the oil in the driveway but he ended up calling me when I was getting ready to leave my boyfriend's house and he was like can you just drive to the garage leave it there and I'll like try to figure out what's wrong with it like after the holidays so my boyfriend followed me he brought me back to my house and my dad ended up like lifting the car up on the like chains and stuff and it was just like peeing oil and my dad, you know, like takes 16 wheelers apart for a living. Like he, I, he would know what to look for. He took everything apart for the next like three days and could not find where it was coming from. And everyone was like, oh, check the oil pan, check this, check that. And my dad was just like, no, it's not that. It's not like I've, I've power washed it off four times. It, I cannot find where it's coming from. And like no oil lights or like engine lights were coming on in my car. It was very weird. So, um, we ended up being like, you know, it's the end of the year. If we're going to get a new car, now's the time to do it. I'm very lucky that my parents bought me my last car, Jesse. Oh, la di Yes, I was very lucky that they did that. So my dad ended up taking it somewhere to get like a price quote for it. And they ended up offering him the same amount that they paid for it back how many years ago. So my parents were like, that's a steal. Why not? So I said, sell it, keep the money, pay yourself back, and then I will be my big girl self and I will lease my own Jeep. Wow. So I got a new one. I really like growing up. I always wanted a Jeep um, just cause I've always wanted to take the top off of the car. Like that's the only reason I wanted a Jeep and I like the boxy look. So I was like, I, I really loved having my Jeep for all these years. Like I really don't want to not get another Jeep. Like I, I really want another Jeep for a while. So I was like, I might as well lease it cause the payment's less and like in three years I can get rid of it. And if I want another Jeep, I can get another Jeep. But if not, then I can be on my merry little way. So, I mean, I like it so far. It's very different from my now, last you know, You tweeted out, you know, you were looking for names for the Jeep yeah, and whatnot. I, I guess I still am. And you, and yeah, you were talking about this at the production meeting. You, you, you originally settled on Jenna. So, yes. So I feel like, and I feel like maybe it's just because I'm at that part of my life where I'm thinking about having kids one day. Like when you think about naming a kid or, or something, like you don't want to name it the name of a person you know. You know what I mean? Like if you name it, right. like do you know what I'm talking about? Like sure, you, you'll sure. always think of like that random person who has that name that you like went to high school with or something. Right. So. So you won't be naming your kid Bull, is what you're saying. <laughs> no, I won't. Sorry, right. that that name is reserved for Bull. For Bull, yeah. Right. Exactly. So, um. So I I really loved Wednesday, the new Netflix series okay. based on Wednesday Adams. And um, I was watching that on the plane ride home for the last trip that I took. And by the time I got home, that's when like everything started happening with my car. So by the time I finished that series on Netflix, that's when I got my car. And I was like, oh my God, it's all black. Like it's totally Wednesday. But I feel like that's so cliche. 
Like, the, I wouldn't name my car oh, Wednesday. I suggested Vader, and you didn't go for I that. Did, I did like that. <laughs> Maybe that's back on the table, then. It could be back on the table since everything is back on the table. Now, are there any, since since it hasn't yet been christened, right? So mm -hmm. it, is, it, is no, it is not Jenner as right now. It's just penciled in as Jenner, right? Well, yeah, because the person who plays Wednesday Adams is Jenna Ortega. Mm -hmm. and, and Jenna starts with a J. My last dupe was Jesse. Right. This sounds like such first world problems. I sound like such a snob, but it's just fun so to name a car. <laughs> what are some of the names that you have now on the table that you were thinking about maybe really christening the Jeep with? So I don't really know. I was talking to a couple of people about it and um, I'm playing a role at a theater um, kind of locally. Um, and the, the name of the character that I'm playing is Roxy. Her real name is Roxanne. And... Um, a couple of my friends were like, why don't you name the Jeep Roxanne? And I was like, I like that, but it doesn't start with a J. I feel like it needs to start with a J. Or, or you could take, you ever see the movie 48 Hours with Eddie Murphy where he's singing, Roxanne, you I don't have to turn on the red light. No, I haven't seen that movie, but I know exactly what you're talking about because I've heard it before. Okay. I've heard that before. So like, I don't know, I guess any, any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. So it's back on the table again. I guess, yeah. All right. So, yeah. okay. So Jenna is out for now and we're back on the table. I guess Jenna's on the table, but it's not, I'm not set on it. You mm -hmm. haven't, you haven't, you haven't taken out the I bottle like of bubbly the one. No. to christen it yet. No. Oh, yet. Uh, speaking of bubbly and whatnot and all that other stuff, uh -huh. you're a huge Titanic fan, right? <gasps> I know exactly what you're going to I, say. When I saw the commercial, I, I was going to call you. And I was like, for, for like a couple of weeks, they're re-releasing Titanic for its 25th anniversary. Yeah, but it's like completely remastered. In 4K 3D. Yeah, that's so cool. I feel like, see, I feel like I would love to see it in 4D, 3D. What, what is it going to be in? 3D, 4K. Ah, that. I'd love to see that. But at the same time, I think I'd literally be scared shitless. Well, I actually saw it in 3D a couple of years ago. It wasn't 4K. And What's it, the difference? Well, 4K is like the highest quality. So it's going to be crystal clear like you're actually there That's or whatnot. That's freaking terrifying. So when I saw it maybe, I don't know, like four or five years ago, they uh, released it in the IMAX at 3D. Mm -hmm. I, know, and, I remember what you're talking about. And it literally, when you were in the water, you felt like you were in the Are water. Are you serious? It, it was, and I, I may go see this in 4K. I'm terrified. Just to see this. And I really want to see that scene where he's sketching uh, Rose yeah, in, 4K, in, in 4K. Uh, <laughs> meow. Um, <laughs> But, but yeah, as soon as I saw that, I go, oh, I got I to gotta ask her about the uh, the Titanic yeah. thing. I know. I saw that. And at first I was kind of confused. Cause I was like, hmm, I wonder what they're going to announce. Because like they don't tell you right away. They like let the suspense build up like the 25th anniversary right. Titanic. And then like, then they tell you. So while it's building up, I'm like, oh my God, what are they going to do? And then they said it was. Maybe they have an the alternate theaters. ending like Once Upon a Time in you Hollywood and they don't hit the he iceberg. He could have fit on the door. I know he could have. Bull could have fit on that door. Anybody could have fit on that door. Right. But you know, you know what like really makes me sad? Not really, because I mean, I guess, I don't know. I saw Titanic. What Didn't it come out in like 97? That would be, that'll yeah, be 25 years. Yeah, because I'm 25 and right. it came out and I was born in 97. So, I mean, I've, I grew up, I watched sure. Titanic at a very young age. Like I've seen it a million times. And I guess it just must have been, again, oblivion. When I was younger, I, I didn't know that the Jack and Rose story like never actually happened. Like I totally thought- the You old thought that was really Rose, history. Yeah, I really thought that like, I mean, obviously- definitely like redid parts of the story to like sure, make sure. it appealing. But like, I really did think that there was a Jack and a Rose because I think if you look it up, one of those, one of those people did exist. I oh. think there really was, I don't know if his there, name there, was Jack there, Dawson, there, but I think there really was someone who was well, on the ship that like won the, won that ticket. Cause you know how he wins the ticket sure, in the beginning. Sure. Like that, something about the story like really did happen. And then I found out that the whole love story was just not real and made me very sad. So anyway, when you go back and look at it 25 years later, obviously it's still a period piece. So it's going to look the same as it did 25 mm -hmm. years ago. Maybe the picture of quality, but the story, I mean, now do you think Rose was a two time and hussy? No. I mean, she was engaged to that rich dude, Cal. Yeah, but she wasn't happy. Okay, she wasn't happy, but like instantaneously, like in a few days, she's dumping this guy worth millions well, of dollars. Well, didn't she like not want to be with him? Didn't like her family like force her to be with him? Her, well, her mother became broke because they spent all the money. So they needed a- Yeah, what did they spend the money on? I, I don't remember. I have no idea. Being, being, pretending to be rich, I don't know. But they needed a mm. cash cow. <clears throat> and then of course, it came uh, Jack Dawson and whatnot. Now, I never but saw- But that just it. proves that she does not love someone for the money. She loves them for who they are. 
Okay. All right. It's, so, it's, it's, no, I don't think she's a two time in hussy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's we'll, we'll change the subject. <laughs> um, see, I never saw Titanic when it originally came out in mm. 1997. Me neither. Be- well, obviously, because you were like a <laughs> I week was in old. The womb. <laughs> uh, no, you weren't in the womb because it came out in Christmas time of 97. Oh, okay. So, you, yeah. You were born I was, in I was September. Freshly out of the womb. Yeah, freshly out of the womb. <laughs> Uh, because I thought it was a chick flick, you know the whole you know, oh. everything that they talked about in the commercials, the love story between yeah. Jack and Rose. I didn't see it for a good ten years. Mm. I, I eventually watched it on DVD, and I was like, Whoa, "Was I an idiot?" I mean, this movie was fantastic. <laughs> so I good. mean, the love story sure it's there. That's the core of the movie, but. For that last hour and a half, so people good. are drowning. Have you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. boats are falling on them. People are getting shot. It's my favorite James Cameron movie. It's good. And he did the Terminator and he did Aliens and he did, you know, forget Avatar. Avatar's boring. I've never seen Avatar. Neither, I really don't I, have I tried any. it so many times and it's just like, oh, I will say that I've, I've gone on the Avatar rides in Disney World. Right. Freaking amazing. Oh, I'm like, sure it is. They are amazing, but I, it does not make me want to watch the movie. No, no. <laughs> I have no interest in watching any of these Avatar movies and there's going to be like 30 of them. Actually, Okay. A segue. Okay. Ooh, big word. Because segue. We're, because we're talking about Disney. Uh huh. Did you see? Do you know the whole Splash Mountain thing? Splash Mountain. Give us. Give me the four one one. I know Space Mountain. Woo. No. So Splash Mountain. <sighs> Controversial, but I'm gonna say Splash Mountain's the best freaking ride in Disney World. Not actually, but like it's such a classic. Like everybody loves Splash Mountain. It's always been there. It's like the thing that people go to Magic Kingdom to ride. But like the three mountains, you always do the three mountains. Splash Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain. Well, you know the saying about Space Mountain. Oldest ride, longest line. They are no longer doing it in the dark. (sighs) Okay, we'll go back to that in a second. Hold on. (laughs) Hold on. We'll go back to that in a second. I'll tell you why though. And my boyfriend actually almost did this to himself. So hold on, back back up. So Splash Mountain, they announced, I want to say in like either the end of 2019 or like 2020 right before um, COVID happened that they were re-theming the entire ride to Princess and the Frog okay. because Splash Mountain is based on um, the Song of the South, which is like a very... Sure, sure. It's, so it's controversial now. Yeah. So they're they're redoing it. And like everyone is for it. Like everyone's happy that like it's no longer going to be like extremely racist. But at the same time, it's like that's a classic. Why are you going to get rid of it? You know what I mean? Like it's a very clear divide. Like people are happy, but also sad. it's very bittersweet. Today, I don't know if it was today, but this week it's done. They officially closed it. The ride or the name? The both. Both. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. People were like posting videos like last time ever riding Splash Mountain because my one of my college roommates and I were planning on going to Disney for our spring break senior year and then obviously COVID happened so we never went. We rescheduled like five times. I remember. We went and we rode Splash Mountain like, oh my God, this is the last time I'm going to ride it. Yeah, little did we know that we'd each be back one more time after that. So it wasn't actually the last time. But the last time I went on it, yeah, it's officially gone now. Well, maybe we need room week. for more Star Wars stuff. I feel like they're going to add more Star Wars stuff because the Star Wars land is like incredible and everyone loves it. I know I have to go to this. You I, do. Everybody says, you, good, do. you know, but I hate Florida. Why? Because it's boring. Yeah, but it's warm. Okay. There's other places that are warm too. Yeah, but they have rides. Maybe there. I'll have to go out to Hollywood and go to the, go to the one at yeah, the, uh, Dis- the Disneyland. Cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because they yeah. have one. Of, do they have one over there? Yeah, they do. It's probably yeah. not as big, but they do mm-hmm. have a Millennium Falcon out there. Yeah. I've, I still, that's that. And one other ride are the only two Star Wars rides I have yet to go on because the line is always so long you can never get on. Oh, but there's a reason for that. Exactly. Star but anyway, Wars. back to Space Mountain. Back to Space Mountain. Um, you know how you like can't put your arms up or anything in Space Mountain because they'll get like ripped off. Okay, yeah, because it was built in the sixties. Yeah, and like the passageways are like so very short. narrow. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> when I went this past. May I think it was I went with my boyfriend and we went with another couple who we're friends with we went on Space Mountain that was like the first time my boyfriend and my friend's boyfriend had like been to Disney they're both very tall yeah I was gonna say very tall Mr. Stargaze is a tall kid he put his arms up and very quickly realized that there was a beam coming like (laughs) <laughs> almost head level. So he put his arms down and he, we got off the ride. I literally, I was right behind him. I saw him put his arms up and I almost said, you need to put your arms down right now. Cause they're about to get ripped off. We got off the ride and he was like, Oh my God, did you see that? Like there was a, like I almost just got my arms ripped off. And I was like, yeah, that's why they tell you you're not supposed to put your arms up. So you can't sue because they told you before you got on it. Well, I guess 
Someone, someone just got their arms ripped off oh, like God. a couple of weeks ago or something. So now they're all the forever. Now the light's going to be on, which is interesting because I feel like, I feel like that's always just something that some every, like, I feel like everyone in the world are like, I want to see what space mountain just looks like with the lights moron. on. But now they're actually going to see what it looks like with the lights on. Cause it's never going to be dark again. Well, close your eyes. I've also heard of like this girl like a long time ago, this girl like got her hair ripped out. Cause they were still like going down a hill and her hair got caught on the beam and like ripped her hair, like her scalp, like her, the scalp off. Right. I, I, I don't I, know how true that is, but that sounds I, really I'm going painful. going to Star Wars land. I'll tell you why I don't like Disney. All right. I love Disney, <clears throat> but I, I respect your decision. <laughs> Our show's director, the Emmy award winning Airwolf Chris, it was mm -hmm. his wedding. Mm -hmm. And this was back in 2000. Did I hear this story? It's all right. Maybe you did. I don't know. For those, anyway, for those people anyway, who haven't heard the story, I want, I want to hear it again. It was the Aerosmith roller coaster. All right. If you're about to talk shit about the Aerosmith roller coaster, I'm I don't. Not, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this. I'm podcast. not going to talk shit about it. I have very bad motion sickness. I okay, used to get sick. Okay. I used to get sick on the merry-go-round as a kid. Okay. okay? Then, then I guess I'll. No, 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 it. no. I'm not. I'm not going to make me make fun of it at all. Okay. And they all knew that I had really bad motion sickness. Mm. This was the first ride we went on as soon as we got there. Mm -hmm. So they're like, no, TC, man, it's nothing. You'll love it. It's fun. It's fun. It's like, I go, it does loop-to-loops and stuff. And go, ah, it takes two seconds and whatnot. And whatnot. That is true. There's only two. And it's like, all right. He's like, oh. He's, and they actually go, I think there's only one, and it's a little tiny one. And, and, no, like, that's a lot. and it's like, okay, <laughs> it's all right. So they're all laughing, and I don't know why. Because there's a freaking huge one so, the second you take off. <laughs> so we get in this ride, and and there's like a, a like a 15 year old kid who's been on this thing like 800 mm -hmm. times that day already. And I look at him, and I go, "All right, I have really bad motion sickness." <laughs> and I go, "This isn't that bad. There's like one little loop." He goes, "Dude, there's like two of them, and one of them's like you know." I'm like, literally right when you take. And off. as soon as he says that. We go warp speed because yep. the thing goes a million miles an hour. Yeah. And it's in the dark. Yep. And I'm like, you sons of bitches. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it pretty much ruined my whole day oh stay my Disney. Thank God I didn't have any breakfast because I, my head would have been in a, in, in a trash oh can no. the entire day. But, and, and I was so queasy the rest of the time. Oh, I, I, I still have to get them back. This yeah. was in 2010, and I still have to get them oh, back. So, okay. I loved, I love ride stories. I think they're so funny. So, um, something about Disney is that if the park closes at 10, as long as you are in line for a ride at 10, you can stay. Like, they'll, they will run the rides until the lines run out, but you have to be in line by the time the park closes mm -hmm. in order to take it on. So we were like, we were all the way over in Star Wars land, which is on the complete opposite side of like rock and roller coaster. Other side of the galaxy. Yes. So the only ride we did not do that day that we had left to do before we left was Tower of Terror. I do not like rides that drop like that. But you know, I've done Tower of Terror before and it is not is that bad. Is that like the elevator thing that falls? Yes. So, um, my boyfriend like did not want to go on, but was going to go on. And then the same thing with the other boyfriend. So the other boyfriend, my friends. Oh, boyfriend. I was just going to say, <laughs> what are no, we no. in Utah? No. So, um, we were like, okay, right now it was raining that night. So like a lot of people had left the lines had gone down. So we had enough time to get from one end of the park to the other to go on rock and roller coaster one more time and then get in line for tower of terror and like, not like, like make it in time to get on the ride like right, right before the park closed. So we are like speed walking. All of a sudden it starts downpouring. Oh, it's Florida. Downpouring. So we're like speed walking. We get to Rock and Roller Coaster. We get on. We are like looking up like how long the ride like runs, like how long it's going to take so we can make sure we get over to Tower of Terror. Me and the other girlfriend have to pee so bad. I'm like surprised I didn't pee myself on this roller coaster. So we go, we have like three minutes to spare by the time the ride ends. So we have to get off. We have to scan, like you scan your little band mm -hmm. to like get the photo. We have to get off the ride. We have to scan the photo and we have to run over to Tower of Terror. So we're like, we're yelling at our boyfriends like, go, you just run and go. We'll get the picture, we'll get whatever. We pull up to like get out of the roller coaster and it stops and we're just sitting there for two minutes. So now it's like 9.59 and we need to like run. This is the last, I'm the type of person where like, if that's the one thing we didn't do, I'm gonna think about that for the rest of my life until we get back there and do everything we need to do. Like that's just the type of person I am. They get in line, 
me and the other girlfriend are like sprinting. I, we ran to the bathroom. We had to pee. We ran to the bathroom. I like ripped like two of my nails off on the bathroom door because we were like rushing so fast. We didn't even wash our hands. We're like, like soaking ourselves in like Purell and we get there and we like can't even find them because they had no idea where they were going. They didn't even get in line. They were like at some other like, like a bench like they would they were at it's a small world yeah pretty much but um we ended up making it and we went on the ride and it was great but yeah well, as you bled to death from your fingertips yeah pretty much <laughs> why don't you just take the Perel rub your hands and just wash them in the rain we could have, i don't think it was raining at that point anymore it well, like was on and off yeah we had Purell. It was fine. It was fine. As long, like as, long as it, it was like dripping off my hands. As long as it was fine. sanitary. That's it was, all that matters. It was. So unbelievable. So uh, is that on your agenda this year? Are you going back to Florida sometime Actually, this year? Actually, we are talking about going back to Disney because they're opening two new rides. Well, no, sorry. They're opening one new ride, but the other new ride opened like a week after we left. So we haven't done it yet. So mm -hmm. we're talking about maybe going back like next November-ish because... Around Thanksgiving-ish? The week after, yeah, because the week between, like, the week after Thanksgiving before December is, like, the dead period because everyone's back in school and, like, you are, you, you have, like, two holiday breaks back to back, so, like, nobody can miss. Well, that sounds like a school. plan. I don't know if we're actually going to, but if we're talking about it. Now, what we talked about at the, segueing back to the production meeting, mm -hmm. I am going to have a very rare opportunity that not many people in the world really? have done. And I, I think you know what I'm talking about. Maybe. I'm going to go on at one of the famous airport runs with you. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I'm going to go in the, on the unnamed vehicle. Yes. And we've, this is, these are legendary. If you've been listening to this podcast for a long period of time, ever since Abby came on the program, she has a strange fetish where she likes to drive around Logan International Airport I in do. Boston. I don't know why. It's just so exciting. You don't stop. You just drive around the premises, correct? Yes. There's a very specific route that There's I a take. specific route. Okay. Yes. So we're going to have the after hours cameras. I'm going to be sitting shotgun in your new Jeep. Yes. And I'm going to be going on one of the famous OMG airport It's going to be rides. very historical because this new Jeep has not been to the airport yet. <gasps> So I'm gonna, it's going to be her christening. Yeah, christening. So we're going to name it first so then we can go All on right, the christening fine, fine. ride. We're going to do this sometime before <laughs> spring. Yes. This is going to happen because you're on the road doing a lot of other things. We just yep. have you, You'll be making airport runs, but in an Uber. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> or yeah. a taxi or, yeah. or, or you having dad drive you down there. Yeah. Um, but this is fantastic. Uh, this meeting that we had, it was, it was unbelievable. And one of the other things I want to talk about, because you mentioned it on your tweets, was the autograph sign, the virtual autograph sign. Yes, we sign. still have to do that. I know we, you said you were going to schedule it sometime in January. That's not going to happen because no, you're I'm on the No, I'm sorry, road. everybody. Sometime in either in, in February, yes. we're, we're going to be penciling in. So basically yep. what we do is I had to go out and buy, I think it's like <laughs> 75 8x10s of Abby. <laughs> and what we're going to do is some, I think it, it may have actually happen on a weekend. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we will have, you'll, you'll have plenty of notice. You go, you'll find out. Don't about, worry, you'll all know. You'll all know about it. You'll know about it in nauseam by the time we, we figure <laughs> out where we're going to do this. And we're going to do it on Zoom. And anybody out there who follows you on social media mm -hmm. and your social media is? At After Hours Abby. On Twitter. And this is all free. Yes. So anybody who wants to come in and actually have a virtual so live fun. conversation with OMG Abby. We can talk about anything. Anything they're going to talk I, I, may, I may actually have to be part of this. Yeah, I, may, I, ho I hope you are. Well, maybe we'll do it down at the studio. Make yeah, it, make, that'd be your, great. Your background look nice. Rather those ridiculous uh, phony backgrounds that people put on oh my Zoom. God, I my, hate those. My dad is obsessed with those and I think they are so oh, stupid. Oh, they're awful. He, but like the reason he's obsessed with them is because he knows they're stupid and he thinks it's funny because they're stupid. Yeah, I mean, they look, they're all these out of focus. And they, and, yeah, and you know he's the always right, in space for some reason. If you, don't don't right li if you don't have the right lighting, your head disappears. Yeah. It just mm -hmm, looks I'm like all set. crap. Yeah. So we're going to have the virtual autograph signing sometime in February, probably near the end of the month. And uh, like I said, anybody out there in the sound of our voices that wants to come on, we will... You'll, you'll, you actually, are welcome. You are welcome. Well, I think they have to send... Uh, I'm not really good at Zoom. I think they'll have to either send you or me or somebody, whoever... An invite. Uh, an invite or, or their email. You, you, honestly, we might be able to post like the link to it okay. on Twitter. Okay. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Let's ask the technical people We'll have to here. see if we can... I think you can do that. As well, long as they have the link, they can click on it. We'll they can figure join. it out. And uh, it's, it'll probably be for like, a, like an hour some night. 
And uh, anybody who participates, we will get a free autograph Ooh. while supplies last. Yes. Um, and we'll send them all over the world. For the first 75 people. For the first 75 people, because, you know. Come and get them. You know, <laughs> we'll have more merchandise later on in the year. But this yes. is something that we've been planning to do for a long period of time. Yes. And, you know, pandemic put it off, or you traveling, or whatever the excuse was. <laughs> but we're back. You're going to be doing it. And you have that big announcement coming in March. Yes. That you're actually going to be having a press conference for it. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be something big. I mean, I don't even know about it. Mm -hmm. So she just gave me those duck lips, like, mm -hmm, <laughs> like you. Uh, you is, 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 am I going to enjoy this? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Of course. Because I know I wasn't allowed into that meeting that you had a couple mm -mm. weeks ago with the higher ups at Rastani Productions. Yeah, don't worry. I feel like Vince McMahon. You know, <laughs> you've been kicked out of your own company and then weaseling your way back in. Mm. But uh, I don't want to know what this is. I want to be. Exciting. I want to They're be at gonna, this press you're conference. You're going to like it, especially you. Well, oh, oh, oh okay. Especially me. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, now, I'm, now I'm going to be thinking, I'm going to have anxiety attacks for the next like month and a half thinking about what this is going to be. <laughs> but I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I think you do. I do want to know. But well, I'm just I saying. I can't tell you. you can't, oh, look at the devious look you just <laughs> gave. Oh. If you, maybe we should have cameras on these the next time. You have the little. That'd be fun. A lot of a lot of podcasts do that. They film. They like, do. They do do that. But it's not a podcast anymore. It's a TV show. Then. Yeah. We could do that one time though. That'd be fun. You know, put it on the list. Put it on the list of yeah. things. That, you guys want to see the behind the scenes of the podcast? What really oh, goes well, on? We don't want to show that. Right, <laughs> we, 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 if you heard the language sometimes that Abby <laughs> uses prior to getting on the air, oh my goodness, the Marsha Brady. Uh, the uh, image will go right down the drain. <laughs> what can you say? I was raised in Boston. You were raised in Boston. That's true. It's in my blood now. Yeah, well, well you know, you're from old England, but you grew up in New England. Aha, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Aha, I I'm have a brain somewhere in the head. That's good. I Unbelievable. Like that. Well, I know you got to run because you have another meeting to go to. I do. And you got to pack because you're going on one of these mystery trips tomorrow morning. I do. What time does the flight leave, by the way? I think it leaves at 9 but I'm going to have to board before then, so I'll be up nice and early. Now you have to get there like two and a half hours early to go through the security check and whatnot? Yeah, because I'm checking a bag, which I'm not too excited about, but I'll have to. Cause I've and how long are you going to be on the road for? A week. A week? One week, huh? Yep. Different locales? Mm-hmm. Mm. We'll see if you can figure it out. Oh, I, well, obviously, are you going to be traveling in the boots you're wearing right now? Probably, honestly. Right. Because I mean, when, when the places I'm going, I'm not going to need them. But when I come back to Boston, I'm probably definitely going to need them. Fantastic. If I even get out tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you get, it's almost everything. that we, we had snow here, ladies and gentlemen, on Martin Luther King. They said it was going to be like a dusting. I woke up, there's like three inches of snow on the ground. Yeah. My mom woke up this morning and she was like, so I'm going to go shovel. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I opened my shade and like the snow is like falling right. down. I was like, what is going on? I was like, how much snow is there? And she was like, a couple inches. And right. I was like, oh my God, are you serious? But as we, as you came up to the, uh, the, the podcast, Pat, I was like, it's all, it's all gone. Yeah. I mean, the, temp the, the, pavement. the temperature has risen. My dad um, actually plows and like sands for the state in the wintertime. And he's been out for like the past two days. Really? Yeah. They've had him out like salting the roads for well, the past like two that's days. That's bucks there. That's stuff. Hopefully he's gonna need it. Why? <laughs> Just kidding. You're gonna bail you out somewhere? <laughs> hopefully not. Oh, hopefully not. You know, you, you always, you know, if you if you need any bail money, you can always <gasps> text Actually, me. Actually, oh, oh no, what? You are going to jail? No, I don't even know what made me think of this. Extra money, I guess. I forgot to tell you what happened to me on my trip home. The last trip I went abroad. Would you want a scratch ticket or something? No, I got bumped up to first class for the R first time in my life. Well, they obviously knew who you were. It was incredible. Oh, really? And I how, like never want to not fly first class How long again. was the flight? It wasn't like a... Four and a half hours. Oh, so it was a nice long flight. Oh my God, yeah. I got like a drink for takeoff. I got dinner. I got dessert. I got another drink and then I got a glass of Prosecco for landing. It was crazy. Now, I've flown first class before. <laughs> now, were you the first seat in the first class? No. So, so what happened was I was flying. I, I usually sit like in the middle, like where the wing is. That's like the most equal. That's where the door is, the escape hatch. Yeah, exactly. That's why I always pick it. I, every time I fly. <laughs> you I, sit in the exit row? I, no, I fly in row 21. Re <gasps> That's where I'm sitting tomorrow. Row 21, yeah. the window seat. No, I'm on the aisle. Oh, but, no, no, yeah, no. but uh, yeah, I didn't get to pick. Always row 21 because oh it's my gosh, birthday. That's so funny. It's Mine's 20. Maybe I should go. fly the 20 row. There you go. I but, always um, am 21. So if you're ever so flying, funny. and I only fly JetBlue. Oh, I only fly Delta. So if you see me. But I'm a, not flying Delta tomorrow. Where are you flying? American Airlines. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm sure they have a row. I'm sure they have a row 21. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so I was, I was sitting in like row like 40, I think it was like 40 a, I want to say I had the window seat cause I distinctly picked the window. Always seat. have to have the window seat. So for the people that I was flying for, we have priority boarding. So I got on first and there was already like a family sit. So I was on the right side of the plane and there was already a family sitting on the left side of the plane, like in the same row. Mm -hmm. So I was like putting my bag up and the woman was like, row 40, nice. And I was just like, "Mm mm-hmm, yeah. And she was like, window seat? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, really? And I was like, yeah. She goes, wait, are you actually being serious? Like you actually have the window seat? And I said, yeah. And she goes, I have a first class ticket. Do you want to switch with me? And I was like, what? Like, no, you go sit in, like, it's your, you paid for it. Like, it's your first class, go sit in first class. And she was like, no, 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 I'm serious. Like, do you want to switch? And I was like, no, you can sit in first class. Meanwhile, people are like trying to get you sure down she was a thing. terrorist or something? And she goes, and she goes, no, my children are back here and I want to sit with my family. I'm, I'm going to give it to somebody else if you don't want it. But like, seriously, I, I want the window seats. Like, if you're willing to switch with me, I'll give it to you. And she goes, but you got to go fast because there are people coming on. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, literally. And she was like, window seat, right? You swear? And I was like, I swear to God, I have the window seat. So we switched tickets and I go sit up and I was in the last row of first class on the aisle. But I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my God, this is so nice. People hate you. You you realize how, how, my, how many people hate the people sitting in first class when you sit there because they have these looks on your faces like F you. And I'm sitting there and I feel, like, feel so out of place because like <laughs> I didn't plan for this happen like in leggings and oversized sweatshirt, like my hair's in a bun. Like I was not planning on this. Everyone around me like has a laptop out, like the suits on, like they're like working. And I'm like sitting there like, wow, this is freaking awesome. They probably thought you were a stewardess hopping a flight. Probably. So um, the flight attendant likes, and honestly, which is really funny, she was the same flight attendant I had on the first flight. That I, that I had going there, which okay. was weird. So you're not friends. Yeah, so she, I hope I have her tomorrow, that'd be great. So um, she was coming around asking people like, do you want a drink for takeoff, drink for takeoff, drink for takeoff? And I'm sitting there like, if I order a drink or food or anything, like is this poor woman gonna get charged for all this stuff and I'm just gonna walk away? Who cares? Like, I felt so bad. So the guy next to me is like, yeah, I'll take a mimosa. And then she looks at me, she's like, drink for takeoff. And I'm like, yeah, screw it, I'll have a mimosa. <laughs> so, we're drinking our mimosas. It's great. She comes around for dinner and she's like, do you want dinner? Here are the options. So it's going to be the same crappy food and coach as it is in first class, right? No, they get dinner like, like, like chicken, beef, lasagna. Really? What did you get? I got lasagna. But so she's, she's doing the orders and she's like, do you want dinner? And I'm like, sure. So I tell her what I want. And then I'm like, when you're done, like with those people, like the last two people, can you just come back? I just have a question. So she finishes, she comes back over and I'm like, I am not supposed to be up here. And she started laughing. Stow away. <laughs> she started laughing and I was like, I had a ticket back in like row 40 and this woman wanted to switch with me. And she was like, oh my God, that's so nice. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. So is she going to get billed for all this? <laughs> and she was like, ah, oh, probably, but it's okay. And I was like, no, no, I want to know. Cause like, if she is, I literally will, after I get off the plane, I will wait and I will give her money. Like I, I don't want to like just order all this stuff and have her get charged for it. What ended up happening was the flight attendant checked and she like ended up getting upgraded for free. So she didn't, she wasn't going to get charged for anything. I was like, great, lay on the Prosecco, let's go. Give me a doggy bag. Yeah, so it was awesome. Unbelievable. I, well, I just got Paige that your limo is waiting downstairs oh, really? for your big other business meeting, which I'm not invited to. <laughs> um, I, I, did, can you give us a little hint what this meeting is? Yeah, it's for theater. Oh, 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 it's that meeting. Mm. Gotcha. Well, I would want to go. I, I'll go see you on your opening night. Yeah, but, that's fine. But, uh, you know, Rastani Productions uh, is is flipping the bill for the for the limo service yeah, from our I headquarters say? to the to the big rehearsal <laughs> for Roxanne. Yeah, hopefully I get some Prosecco in there. Unbelievable. Well, it's awesome to see you again. It's been a while since the Christmas party. Yes. And I know the fans are going to be delighted to see your mug all over the place coming up soon. I'm very excited. It's going to be fun. Hopefully, you know, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. She has committed that she's going to be, you know, commitment to doing yeah, this stuff. Yeah, 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 I'll be Because here. if, she, if we don't see here. her again until, like, Labor Day, you know, <laughs> we'll be very upset. But I will be upset, too. I know where you live, and we can just come you knocking do. on the door. It's true. You're going to have to. Yeah, well. You're going to have to for something. I know I know what we're going to do. You're all going to find out We're soon all going to find out what I'm going to do when we go to Abby's Pad. Whoop, whoop. Unbelievable. This is After Hours. I'm T.C. Ristani, along with... 
Abby Howitt. Miss OMG. And you can follow us on social media. You can follow me on Twitter at After Hours TC. And you can follow me on Twitter at After Hours Abby. And this is After Hours. And we what? We never close. Do you love seafood? Hi, I'm Captain Dave Marciano, and I want to invite you to check out our new website, AngelicaSeafoods.com. Now you can get fresh local seafood shipped overnight from Gloucester's fishing families to yours. AngelicaSeafoods.com, the finest, freshest seafood New England has to offer. From the boat to your door, get Angelica Seafoods Premium Seafood, sustainably caught and packaged at AngelicaSeafoods.com. This is Ricky Bittman, host of Ricky Bittman's Jukebox Podcast. I want to thank all my fans for making my podcast one of the top podcasts in the country. From the bottom of my heart and the bottom of my co-host Galen Santo Padre's heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Up, up, and away, hey! Hi, this is Quincy Briscoe. To all my fans, don't drink and drive.